Well, hello, friends. In this one, we will continue our discussion of multiple linear regression, and we're going to spend just a moment working on the writing of research questions. A lot of this will sound familiar to you. We remind you that quantitative studies usually have at least two initial questions. The first question is a descriptive question in which you collect the descriptive information about your topics. We would be talking things there about like mean, standard deviation, and the number of data points. And then you have a methodology question. The methodology question is specific to the type of methodology that you will use. And in this one, of course, we will use a methodology that would reflect a uh, multiple linear regression. The descriptives then help you to make sense of the quantitative analysis. So you have a descriptive question, then a methodology question. Descriptive questions you get first. And here's an example. What are the percentages of disciplinary placements? African-American, Hispanic, white, economically disadvantaged, limited English proficiency, at risk, and special education students in the Texas Independent School Districts in 2011. Now, you may recognize this question. This question is exactly identical to the descriptive question that we use for factor analysis. We're, we're going to uh, examine disciplinary placements and these other variables, uh, do it from a little bit different uh, perspective, but uh, the descriptive questions, uh, we still need to know, you know, what are those, the values there? What are their means? What are their standard deviations? And uh, how many of them are there for the, each data point? Now, multiple linear regression methodology questions focus on relationships. You could say, do relationships exist? Uh, do associations exist? I use between or among because we have several variables. But this is a little different than the question we used for factor analysis. Look at it. Do relationships exist between or among the percentages of disciplinary placements and the percentages of? And we list these. In the way that I've worded question, disciplinary placements becomes the dependent variable and these things, the percentages of these other ones, become the independent variable. It's a pretty clever way to, to write the question. When I read it, it says to me that this is a multiple linear regression methodology question. And of course, multiple linear regression, again, is about relationships because it is basically founded in correlational analysis. Now, remember the hypothesis. If you have a question that says, do relationships exist? The null hypothesis is no relationships exist, worded exactly like the research question except written as a statement. The null hypothesis is that no relationships exist between or among the percentages of disciplinary placements and the percentages of African American, Hispanic, white, economically disadvantaged, limited English proficiency, at risk, and special education students in Texas independent school districts in 2011. The null hypothesis is, is the affirmative. If, if the null hypothesis is the negative, rather, then the alternate hypothesis is the affirmative. The null says no relationships exist. The alternate says relationships exist. And you word them exactly the same. Now, I want to thank you very much for your support as we've worked on this video. Uh, I hope you're catching on to multiple linear regression. We still have a couple more videos we will be building one and using SPSS, and then we'll have a video to interpret the results. Uh, may the odds be ever in your favor. And if you don't like that, then live long and prosper. This is the dog wishing you a blessed day.